Hi guys, and welcome back to another mobile game review. Um, my streaming rigs are still currently down for repairs, maintenance, and upgrades, etc. So please understand that that these sort of videos that I'm doing for mobile games are just that. They're just one-off reviews. I don't think they're going to go anywhere, but we'll find out. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, well, what the hell is Elite Squad? Well, Elite Squad isn't officially out yet. This is for insiders and for reviewers like myself. So a big thank you to the powers that be over at, you know, over at, over at Origin to help me out here. And, well, pretty much this is very similar along the lines to another mobile game that I play. That I have done some videos on before, mostly about my disgust for certain characters not being in the games. This in question is a team-based squad. It's a squad-based, uh, uh, pretty much real-time strategy game where you don't get to overly control each individual unit, just the squad itself. So what I mean by that is we're going to click on our soldiers. If you've played the actual game and you do the tutorial, it'll all be explained to you. But for those who don't, for those who just want to thumb through and take a look, so here we go. Um, pretty much, yes, these are characters from things like Rainbow Six Siege, from the Division 1, Division 2, and even, yes, that is Isaiah Briggs from Splinter Cell, and yes, Sam Fisher is here. No, nope, that's not Sam Fisher. Come on. Sam Fisher is also in the game, and of course, because he's the pinnacle hero character, he's like the most hardest one to actually unlock. But there he is. Yes, this is an old school Sam Fisher. Um, I think they've tried to do an amalgamation of the old original Sam Fisher. Uh, voiced by Richter Ironside. Um, or... And add the newer Sam Fisher from the newest iteration of the game. I'm not a big fan of the new Sam Fisher. I prefer the original Sam. Um, but hey, what can I say? I'm a big fan of Mr. Ironside. Good voice actor. Uh, again, one of my homies. Uh, an amazing actor just in general now most importantly um just like most other squad based games if your squad is entirely made up of say rainbow six characters you get bonuses or the division characters you get bonuses or you know uh, ghost recon you get bonuses yes there are characters from ghost recon that's what this logo is that is the division i believe he's what the main villain from the division two um i don't really know much about the division two i've never played it um, I, I, I got into the Division 1, but when they started saying, oh, we're putting this behind a paywall, that part, the typical, let's suck you in and then skin you alive for as much cash as you want, I said, no, thank you. Quit playing the Division and went back to playing Splinter Cell. And so I'm a big Splinter Cell fan. Um, so some of these characters you may recognize and maybe bang on the screen saying, what the hell, what the hell, why haven't I got them unlocked? Again, I've only been playing the game for the past four or five days um i'm still catching up to some of the other reviewers who have gotten a lot Depot. further in the game than me again i'm fairly new you know the, the 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 company who make the game haven't given me unlimited funds or anything this is literally what an account would be if you were a player so if you were a player in this game this is pretty much what you would be having to do Vendors, events, things like that. You have to unlock them bit by bit by bit. There is a PvP arena, if, if that is your thing. Um, it is, it, again, you guys know I'm not really big. I swear I put my phone on mute. I swear I put my phone on mute. I swear I put my bloody phone on mute. And now Twitch is bombarding me with a whole bunch of people that's gone live in the last two seconds. I don't care. Um, so yeah, I do apologize for that, guys. I'll leave that blooper in for you. But, um, yeah, the campaign, campaign is pretty fun. Um, you do get to unlock other characters and classes. For example, Underworld, Close Quarters Specialists, um, Allies, which, you know, can be, you, you can, in, in somewhat, in somewhat way, help unlock Sam Fisher. 
Um, not till way later in the campaign. I think it's like rank tier six. No, where is it? I know you do get shards for unlocking him. And like that, yeah, you do have to collect the shards to unlock the characters. Um, you could also grind shards out if you wish to just like let's start leveling up your your characters now i'll show you what the combat's like so we'll click on deploy and now we are going to be at the deploy screen here we are as you can see i do have montage uh, from rainbow six siege he's your basic stock tank that you get for every account um so if he's not your thing sorry guys you're gonna have to play the game to unlock d different kinds of tanks um and then like i said this is your squad rating. This is the enemy rating. If your rating is lower than the enemies, nine times out of ten, you're going to die in horrible, painful death. Um, you can mix and match it up so that you do get some squad bonuses, unfortunately. Now, again, this is just a little thing I would like to see here is if is what squad bonuses are active. Um, because you can't see any squad bonuses if they're active or not. And... I think that's a bit of a pisser. Um, pardon my French. I really do. So, for example, I've got two division agents together, and I know that they do get bonuses, but I don't know where it should say the bonuses should be. Again, a small little box, you know, like the division logo on it, you highlight it, and it tells you what the bonuses are. Something that simple. A little UI interface. That's all, you know, I'm asking for. And so we've got that. And then that now the upgrade section is because you can either upgrade their levels which i can or you can upgrade their equipment now the equipment shards this this to me i feel is a little bit of a, of a paywall slash a problem with the game it is the required blueprints and whatnot to upgrade the base weapon for omega 10 damage um it's just not worth it i'm sorry it's really not worth it yeah i don't get the armor penetration that i would you know, even though realistically, you know, this gun and this gun fire the same caliber round. You know, nothing. The only difference is, is I, I would like to know when did she go to the ARX, which doesn't quite... Anyway, anyway long story short, it, it, it's a different kind of thing. But the color coordination is equal to the rarity that you'd see in the division. So they, they do have some similarities here. Here you go. Um, but to level up the gear, to level up the, the, the soldier, you know, there's your bio... And it tells you what her abilities are, weapons and, and, and abilities is her specialty. She doesn't do crowd control, she doesn't do survival, she doesn't do aid. So you can in somewhat ways build a team up to, you know, play in your specific PvP class. Maybe a section where if you click on a certain soldier, um, it will tell you goes well with the following soldiers, like squad ideas, to help new players. Like if you click on, you know, like right here it would say okay would go well with this tank that 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 you know just just subtle hints to help players start theory crafting would go a very 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 long way um i still want to go how, how it goes from a bolt action to a soviet semi-automatic to a, another it, 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 it makes no sense but Again, I think Origin slash you know I, I, the, the 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 guys that have made this game, I genuinely think they have a good idea. They do. They have a really good idea, you know. But I think the UI could be a little bit more cleaned up. Um, having these big old bulky like upgrade buttons. I get it. This game's designed to be played on a. Ooh, sorry, the guy. The game's designed to be played on a phone. You know, it's designed to be played on a screen. You know, but look how big my phones are in this day and age. Okay. Here's my coffee cup. You know. Do you see? You don't necessarily need to make them like this. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's get into combat. Now, this is where you can select your combat orders. Now, a combat order is... If your squad has a lot of DPS but no real healing or protection you can throw out combat aid you can throw out um a barrier things of that nature to help your dps team survive a little bit longer 
Um, if your team is all about survival black DPS, you can throw out things like focus fire and airstrike. So you can somewhat tailor your your commander's abilities to go with the squad. Okay, so we're just going to click on deploy. Ready for battle. And you get a little load screen, and then you get a little mini action scene, a boat or a helicopter. Load times on this game is kind of out there. There we go. So we've got two rounds. Okay, One minute, two down. Three down. Now, I haven't used any commander well abilities yet because I don't feel I need to. Okay. So I'm going to use an airstrike. Air and we're going to airstrike on this. Airstrike's over. Airstrike's don't really do much. What they do is they blind and one. they um, reduce their accuracy and they reduce their hit points by X percent of their overall hit points. They don't necessarily victory. do a flat 300 damage or etc. Et now these are your victory... Okay. These are your victory clear bonuses. You need to get all three in order to be able to automate the next set of battles if you want to go back there and re-automate them. So for example, say you need more of these capacitors right here to, I don't know, upgrade at a certain gear. Well, you can go back and now you can auto win it so say I'll, I'll auto win it three times and i got eight capacitors and six tires there we go and that's how you get the automated ability to unlock you have to defeat the enemies in under a minute and 30 seconds you have to take zero casualties and you have to um well basically just clear it in general and so yeah that's pretty much how the combat system works. It's pretty over, over really quickly if you know what you're doing. If you know how to build up your teams. If you know how to, to uh, work on your systems and things of that nature. Now the PvP, that, that's actually pretty fun. So what I'm going to do. And now again, as you guys know, I'm not really huge into PvP. But it goes by leagues. And so we've got unranked, bronze 1, bronze 2, silver. Very similar to League of Legends. So we're going to go into here. Again, like before, you can set up your teams beforehand so you don't know what your enemy's rating is. Okay? You will not know what your enemy's rating is until you hit deploy. So most Deploying people, units. you're going to want to bring your A game. See? There you go. Look at that. These guys know exactly what they're doing. See? And this is in unranked. So you can imagine how high of a tier it goes. Is this game pay to play? Uh, mo all mobile games are, are within certain reasons. Airstrike. Excellent. Flawless. Yeah, so clearly he's purposely that singling out one of my guys. Yeah. Airstrike's over. Finish Air Airstrike. We won. We were close for a minute, but we won. Um, and so mission complete. Mission complete, and we move up. One of the things I I will say is I do like the audio. Um, it's crisp, it's clear, it's really good. Um, guess right now I am playing it on a PC emulator on BlueStacks, but um, even when I was playing it briefly on my Depot. phone. It was very crisp and very clear. Now, the ORB Depot, again, is where you would drop your real money and, and gold and credits and whatnot for unlock cases. These keys you get from events that will let you unlock specific cases. Um, I'm not going to drop 200k to unlock, you know, 10 cases. It's not worth it. But you get what I'm saying. You you can, you know, if you are inclined to be a whale... Um, in, in other games that you know you 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 know you want more of a challenge for um i have no idea what you could possibly get in this so pretty much nothing um yeah pretty much nothing so again i i i don't do the little and yes there is a guild, guild. And no i am not in a guild uh, again like i said this is mostly just for reviews a review um so i hope you enjoyed the, the video guys um like i said if you want to see more videos on this game let me know in the comment section and i will 
do some more videos on it. Um, so until then, guys, I'm going to end this video with a stay safe, have fun, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying, the Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So take care, and I love you all. Bye-bye.